Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we're talking about Sean Strickland versus Paulo Costa. Sean Strickland, 28 wins, 6 losses, 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights. He's a minus 205 favorite, 6 foot 6 one with a 76-inch reach, fighting Paulo Costa, 14-3, and 2-3 and three in his last 5 fights. He's 1-3 in his last 4, was once undefeated, as we all know, as we all know. Hasn't been great for good old Paulo Costa. Uh, after he beat Yoel Romero, got destroyed by Izzy. Thank you. Lost to Marvin Vittori in a pretty fun fight, but a very undisciplined Paulo Costa. Got back on track, track against Luke Rockhold, which, let's be honest, should have finished Luke. And then, and then he fights Robert Whitaker and looked good. Nothing to hang his head down on in that, in that matchup. It's just he fought a better, crisper striker. And that's, that's the reality. He couldn't close that distance. Also hasn't really looked like that marauder since he fighting uh, Izzy since the Yoel Romero fight. Just moving forward, good boxing combinations. Just doesn't really look like that guy anymore. Plus 170 underdog, 33 years old, 6'1 with a 72 inch reach, 4 inch reach advantage for Strickland, same height. The difference in me, difference for me in this matchup is I just think Sean Strickland is. Uh, his jab, his straights, he can keep it at such a distance for Costa, especially if Costa is trying to move forward on him so much to try to close that gap, to to use those combinations that he still kind of has. I don't think the takedown game is going to work for Costa, which is also an issue. I just see every facet of the game of, Paul, of Sean Strickland being able to use those that long frame of his and keep him at bay, keep him... You know, just kind of overthinking, you know, a little bit. So it, 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 it's it's one of those things to where if Paulo can get land on him, he might be able to do some good things on him. But it, he has such a rudimentary uh, striking game that how does he do how? how You know, strikes landed per minute is 5.91 to 6.20. That's gets guys just going toe to toe with him. Sean shouldn't do that. Uh, and he has a big reach. Sean, uh, striking accuracy is 41 to 58. Absorbed 4.33 to 6.38. Uh, defense is 62 to 47. So he doesn't absorb as much. Yeah, Paulo, you know, lands a lot, but he also gets landed on a lot. You know, and guys that have a reach on him is a bit of an issue. That's where that pressure comes in. Takedowns, neither really. Accuracy 64 to 75. Takedown defense 77 to 80. And also, Sean Strickland is a former champion. Historically, I believe, after you fight for a belt, you lose the next one. I think this is the exception on that, on, on that statistic. I think Sean Strickland uses that jab to perfection. Just kind of picks him apart a little bit as the fight goes on, starting to set down on his punches a little bit more. But I think he ends up winning a decision or getting a late, late finish. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know you're picking. Peace.